Hey there guys, I was doing some research recently on Amazon looking at their most popular uh, seedling and herb grow lights. A little bit of research just to see what was on the market as I was developing the Array 1 uh, seedling grow light. And yeah, I was pretty shocked at what I found. Just to put it in perspective, the general recommendation for seedlings and um, herbs would be power levels of about 250 micromoles. The power is the light intensity used by plants, or the measurement of the light uh, used by plants. And 250 is in the sort of lower range, but totally suitable from growing you know, leafy herbs and um, bringing on small seedlings. You'd normally be targeting 500 to 1,000 micromoles, for example, for uh, full growth for flowering herbs. And in this case, I was quite surprised what I found with these different fixtures. I'm pretty shocked, in fact. And starting off, you got the Amazon Click and Grow Light. It's a little three-pot uh, system, hydroponic system, no circulating pump or air pump. Um, and you know you are spending quite a little bit of money on this little these plastic trays, the little inserts here for the seedlings, and um, and as I said, the container. But the light is real disappointment it's got three little leds in it and um it only outputs uh, an average of 60 micromoles that's about a quarter of, a, of what it would have expected over the area now it doesn't have we tested it without reflective walls on the side um so a fair amount of the light is going into overspill but uh yeah i was really shocked the efficiency of the system that's the total power output or light output onto a standard size, which we did was 15 inches by nine inches or 37 by 23 centimeters. So we measured all of these lights the same. Uh, divided by the wattage consumed was 0.76 PPFD per watt, um, a really low efficiency value. Um, so yeah, not particularly impressed. And it's $95 or thereabouts for that system, which is, which is crazy. The next one I looked at, it's badged as a tree can T or E C A A N grow light. Um, and again, you get your pots, there's a little circulating pump. Um, this has got six pots in it, and you get some dried um, nutrients, plant food that you can put in enough, I'd say, to maybe do one grow or so. This one, we did the same measurement at the same height. So about 20, uh, 22 centimeters, nine inches. This is adjustable up and down. And we got an average power of 75 micromoles. Um, so not much different than this guy, but a little bit more efficient at nine and a half watts. It was, uh, sorry, a little less efficient is 0.67 micromoles per watt. So um, yeah, unimpressive as well. The next one was this one, which um, again, you're paying a lot for the stand. It comes on this tripod stand and you've got a controller. You can change the, um, the dimming on the fixture and you can change the spectrum. So you can dim it up and down. It's got these four fairly ugly, in my view, um, extensions here. So they're kind of like fixed springs. You can um, orientate the individual lights around the place. And we put the four of those over the test area at, again, a 22 centimeters height. And that put out a very low, 48 micromoles per meter square per second in, um, in uh, power. At 14.4 watts consumed, only 0.28 micromoles per watt, which is extremely low efficiency, very poor. I don't know you really grow anything, even with the four of them put right together over in one single plant, it's not really going to do that much. Next one is called an Amazon Clip-On Grow Light. This one here, Clip on so called because a clip can clip onto your countertop or your table. And this is the three head version. Um, consumes nine and a half watts and outputs 13 micromoles, one three only. So barely um, anything, really. Um, efficiency of 0.12 micromoles per watt, so extremely poor. Uh, quite a surprise that these fixtures are um, on the market at all. 
um, at these levels. They seem fairly pointless to me. I was even more surprised looking down at the um, review section on Amazon for these particular lights that quite a lot of them were getting favorable reviews. I am um, baffled by how anybody would be having any success with these. If anybody has these um, and has tried them out, I'd be really interested to hear what your experience is um, because um, I can't see them really growing anything. Um, just to give a comparison, and it's blown our own trumpet a little bit, the Array one uh, in a open area, again, with no um, reflective walls around, not as efficient as it would be in a grow tent. Um, we, we test this, or it's specified for two foot by one and a half foot, so um, you know four times the area that we were um, measuring these, and the average micromoles is 360. So, uh, you know, at least four times the average micromoles. Now you can dim that up and down if you need to for, um, for lower light requirements for very young plants. But uh, uh, yeah, the system efficiency 1.5 micromoles per watt in that setup. So uh, yeah, quite baffled by these Amazon fixtures and uh, how they're on the market at all, how, any, why, how anybody gets any success with them and uh, most baffling at all is their ratings. So maybe it's something that you have an idea about how they get those ratings. Be interested to hear your comments. Anyway, total junk, don't go near them. Take care.